Now, Michael Bay unleashes a reboot of Transformers, the toy, ba toy based. Toy, but toy based TV show previously filmed in the 1980s, a cartoon film distinguished for being the last voice performance by Orson Welles. From Orson Welles to Michael Bay, then that's the road we're traveling. And in the CG related spectacle, the good Autobots from outer space shed their disguises and attack the evil Decepticons wherever they hide, which is usually near some Art Deco monuments for some reason. Shia LaBeef, doing a mid 1980s Michael J. Fox imitation, watches and learns. Meanwhile, Transformers hired midriff Megan Fox learns that dweebs have feelings too. So, uh, ladies man 217. That is your eBay username, right? Sam Woodwicky, and my is that you? Uh, car is Yeah, that, that sounds like ladies man. Last night at the station, you told the officer your car transformed. Here's what I said, that my car had been stolen. But it's fine now because it's back. It came back. So what do you kids know about aliens, huh? Shift your way towards the front! Oh. 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 <laughs> Gentlemen. I want to introduce you to my friend, Optimus Prime. A rather a painful experience because I always considered myself a, a, a serious giant robot fan ever since the days of the happy days of Gigantor by uh, Tetsuma Otawa, you know, um, the, uh, also The Iron Giant, Brad Bird's early animated film is a real captivating one. Um, it takes a special talent to make a, a giant robot movie this poor, and uh, Michael Bay has that. It's funny though, when you see little clips of it, you see it in commercials, I go, gosh, that looks great, I'd like to see that, and you go, oh wait, I did see it. Um, he, he based uh, ADD style filmmaking is really good at like uh, cutting things into snippets and into commercials, and he returns to the same tropes again and again and again. Um, it's a strange, it's a very strange film for me. And, it is uh, a very strange film. I, you know, I just really um, Well, just first of all, you know. It's, um, it has no tone. He's like the kid in The Simpsons that didn't know if he was being ironic or not anymore. You know? Well, I, 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 yeah. I disagree with you a little okay. there, but um, the first thing is that Transformers are more than 20 years old. Yeah. It is very, very strange. You're almost taking something from the junk heap to make something current out of it. Well, they, you know, I mean, he did. He did understand that the you know the, the really computer uh, fixated you know the generation just loves them. They love mm -hmm. these are the toys. They're they're, they're ch children's toys. You know. Yeah. Well, and they were. I mean, the way I know them was thing, from yeah. my son's um, yeah. uh, collection. From getting um, him in the yeah. instep. Is everything. You know, he's thirty years age. old now. Yeah. yeah. So um, something. But I must say, I went into this with real gritted teeth and was cursing you for telling me I had to go mm -hmm. see it. Um, uh, but 10 minutes in, I began to enjoy it. And one of the reasons I began to enjoy it was um, the character um, um, of, of Sheila Beef. Uh, of, of Sheila yeah. Beef, because he's not the, the, the dweeb, the nerd that most high school students are. He is a manipulative, um, a high spirited kid. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and he really sort of engaged me. And then I began to appreciate some of the very little humor that went on, such as the only voice that the um, uh, uh, the Corvette, is that what he's driving, the, uh, yeah, whatever it is, yeah, yeah, whatever, it is, whatever yeah. he's driving, can only imitate those media sounds of, um, of action heroes which like is, John Wayne, yeah. which I thought was clever. You had to listen hard, though. Right, no, I heard the, yeah, the, John, the John Wayne yeah. in there and stuff. But, but it, it was a film aimed at high school people. Yeah. And um, um, I just sort of, uh, it was so nonsensical that for some reason I just sat back and enjoyed the little things that Bay, or maybe escaped Bay, that got into the film. Of course, I was wearing earplugs. Well, see, that's the thing. <laughs> if I've been wearing those and blinders too, I, I just can't, I can't follow it. I mean, I think every time I try to you know, submit and enjoy it, I, I just, uh, I, something, something ham handed that Bay would do. Like, uh, for example, the scenes with John Traverto getting, John Turturro getting manhandled by a robot and stuff. I just, uh, just, it was kind of, you know, I, I mean, I was always like at a sort of level of low-level nausea. Yeah. Now, I, I don't think that the robots themselves are a bad idea. And I think that, you know, I mean, I, I, since they are going to do the sequel, maybe they can give it to yeah, somebody. It's already that's done like, already. Yeah, I mean, it's in the works, you know, it's out of our hands. But maybe, maybe they can get somebody that's a little bit more deft than Michael Bay to do yeah. it. And then it would be like, maybe. I think, a pleasure to watch. So. Maybe. We'll have to um, that, see, like what, see what happens, but I'm not going to be looking okay. forward to it too much. <laughs>